leader. Now, Fox 16 Sudden Death Sports. Welcome into Sudden Death Sports. I'm Nick Walters. The Lady Razorbacks took the court last night in search of a win to kick off conference play, but it wouldn't come easy against 11th ranked Texas A&M. Chelsea Dungy did her thing, leading the way for the Hogs with 20 points. Her play helped the Razorbacks stay within striking distance until the final minutes. But A&M star Kennedy Carter would just be too much to handle, scoring 28 as the Aggies hold on in Fayetteville. Texas A&M wins 84-77, ending the Hogs' seven-game win streak and dropping them to 12-2 on the year. The Hogs allow a pair of double-doubles to Endia Jones and Sierra Johnson. After coasting through December, the Razorbacks hit a speed bump. But now they know what to do next. On the rebounding side, I think we gave up way too many offensive rebounds than second chance points. I think that they didn't necessarily make all the first shots, but those second chance and ones, those fouls, um, th that, that's going to hurt us. The ladies hit the road in search of their first SEC win, facing Auburn on Sunday afternoon. The men's team still has a chance to start conference play 1-0. Same opponent, same arena. Texas A&M at Bud Walton on Saturday night. 12 games into the Eric Musselman era, a seven-point overtime loss at Western Kentucky is the only blemish on the Razorbacks' record. Texas A&M is 6-5, and five, an SEC worst. But around this time of year, numbers go out the window. In conference play, it takes on a completely different, you know, competitiveness, uh, crazy things happen in conference play. A preseason poll ranked the Razorbacks 11th in the SEC months ago. But Coach is less worried about press and more about results. We haven't proven anything. I mean, maybe the media is going to be geniuses and, and that's where we'll fall. But, um, you know, we thank everybody for the extra motivation, certainly. That'll do it here for Sudden Death Sports. Stick around for more news and weather.